Hey everybody, this is Sam, Samsterdam Dieter, coming to you today with a real quick video tutorial covering a little script I wrote that will aid in the creation of collision for your video game objects. Now, before we begin, this script was written so that it'll work with the Unreal Video Game Engine, but there's no reason that you couldn't make this script work for whatever video game engine you want to use. Um, so, let's go ahead and get started. Now to install the script it's pretty easy. What I'm going to do here is from my Dropbox folder I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop the UCX box collision tool and just drop it right in my viewport. I'm going to come up here to customize, customize my user interface and the script's been written in a way that if you come down here in your category and you look for Unreal Tools, you will find it underneath there and the Make a Single UCX Collision Box. Now, what I like to do is actually before I get there, I'm going to drag another separator over and I'm just going to put that there. And what that's going to do is when I right click on my empty space here, you can see I have a UCX Collision Box. So, what does this tool do? Well, this tool makes a single UCX collision box. And it sounds pretty simple, right? Well, this tool came around because the first game I worked on was an MMO. And I had to make an awful lot of collision for that MMO. Well, I didn't really know MaxScript at the time, and we were lucky enough to have a tools programmer, so I sat down with him, told him what my problem was, and we, we came up with this script. So fast forward a couple of years, I moved on to a new studio, and lo and behold, I needed to make a bunch of collision again. So I made this script in my spare time, and uh, I'm just going to release it so you guys can use it because it's actually a pretty handy script to have. So let's say that we have this object and we're going to call this one SM underscore walkway. Oops. SM underscore. Okay. And the player needs to be able to walk on these surfaces right here. Okay. Now, what's the best way to go about make some collision for this? Well, what we could do is we could uh, move this guy, move him right here, and instead of SM, we could call this UCX underscore COL collision walkway underscore zero one. And then we could come here to each one of these objects inside of the collision thing, and then we can, uh, let's uh, copy this. Oops. Let's copy that. And we can come here and we can click on detach and we'll increment this, right? And we're still not done yet because because if we uh, go into isolation mode really quick, we can see that the face isn't actually there, right? So what we need to do is come here, we need to cap his face, and then we can go on to, you know, this piece, and then we select all the pieces, we make sure that we got everything selected, we select that piece, okay? And then um, we can go detach, we can paste it, and we can go 0, 3, okay? And so on and so forth. That will that will work. Now that's not that's not too bad, right? I mean, you know, it's it'll it'll take some time, but eventually the pieces will get done. This whole thing will get done. But the problem is, is when you have to do like say 200 pieces or 300 pieces, that can get quite hectic. And having a tool like this to automate this process for you actually is pretty handy. So here's how the tool works. Basically, the tool looks at my selection and it gets the min and the max. So it's looking at the selection that sees this little point right down here to this little point right up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a box, as I can see here. I'm going to create a box with the name UCX underscore SM walkway underscore zero zero uh, because this is the name of the mesh that it's on. And it's got an incrementer here, zero one. So what I can do now is I can just come over here to this one and I can say create UCX collision box. And then I can come over to this guy right here and I can do another one, create UCX collision box. And I can do this for all the objects that I have in my scene. Now, if I look at my scene, I've got SM walkway, then UCX collision box, zero, one, two, and three. So that's pretty much it. That's what the script does. Um, again, like I said, if you need the some other type of identifier right here for your collision, instead of UCX, you just simply go in and modify the script, add whatever it is that you need. I will go ahead and leave a link to the script in my Dropbox folder, and I'll put it up on script spots. If you guys got any questions or any problems with the script, go ahead and leave them in the YouTube comments. Send me a PM. Other than that, enjoy. Have fun. Thanks for watching, and thanks for listening. I'm out.